so to begin this afro wig i have prepped my wig cap already by just sewing the ends because this wig cap has an opening so i'll just go ahead and sew it to close the end and then i'll just see how it looks i'll just fit it onto my mannequin head and then secure it with my t-pin so this um it doesn't go anywhere the the wig cap is stable here is my t-pin i'll just fit it in and make sure it is tight and secure because you need this so your um mannequin head and the wig cap are stable so you, if you notice how i pin this i just pin in a way that it will mimic the shape of the human head so i'll be using one pack of kinky hair this is a synthetic hair so i just went ahead and cut it into two and um went again and cut the two into two again if you understand what i mean so that will give me the length of the hair i'll be using for this crochet that's the length i'm going for so now we have the hair cut and prepped the next thing will be to start crocheting this hair see how it is this is the length and i'll just set it aside and bring my crochet pin so i'll start crocheting it so i'll just pass um the pin through the wig cap and then i will um, put the hair close the loop and draw it out then i will just knot it see how i'm doing it and the second one you see how i'll also do it just if you've not been a crocheter this one is easy i made sure it's slow so you could see all i'm doing just pass the crochet head onto the wig cap lock it and then you knot it you can knot it twice if you want extra security but most times it's not needed because this hair is kinky and it sticks and it's always secure whenever i do it this way so this is the quantity of hair i'm using i'll just go ahead and continue this crochet process pass it through the wick up then put the hair knot it and um, bring it out knot it and continue crocheting you see this part is not fast i make sure it's slow and it's beginner friendly so everyone can make their afro wig yeah <laughs> i'm that generous right so that's the same process i'll continue this same process i'll go in like on um, four lines so that i'll get the shape of um the way the wig cap is the way i placed it on the mannequin head I'll go like on um, four steps upwards in this same direction. You see what I'm saying as we move ahead. So hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel. I make hair videos, DIY tutorials, and much more lifestyle videos also. So if you have not subscribed, please do well to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an upload each time I do upload wonderful and interesting content such as this one you're watching right here so i'll just go ahead and continue this process but this time around i'm taking a different direction because just like i said earlier i've gone like four to five steps above so now i'm going round so i want you all to notice the direction it's going so you just don't go ahead and uh, crochet it anyhow you have to follow this step if you want the finished result that we'll be getting at the end of this video so you guys you don't want to skip any part of this tutorial because i'll be dishing out some teas some con some tips and tricks towards this video i'll do it at any point in this video so don't fast forward it yeah <laughs> don't fast forward any part of it because it is loaded with information it is fully packed so just go ahead and continue this crocheting process and i'll be going around and i'll be turning my stool because i'm doing this on a stool so i'll be turning it so you get the virtual knowledge of what i'm saying and when you get to do yours you just follow this step and this process and you get the finished result i got also and you'll be so 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 satisfied trust me so we'll continue the process so guys at this point i hope you have liked this video yeah the more likes this video gets the more tutorials on wigs i tend to make <laughs> don't mind me guys i was just joking 
yes so shout out to all my returning subscribers who keep coming back to give me my support you guys are the reason why i keep making content on this platform yeah you guys are my ginger you guys are the reason i'm always here and thinking of what to show you all yes <laughs> so i know i've been away for some time that's because i've been prepping and thinking of a better and wonderful video to show you all so i'm here with this one so please like i said give it a thumbs up feel free to ask me any comments in the comment section as you all know i'm always there to reply and respond to all your comments and questions and you can dm me on instagram at richie opara or you check my about section you see my instagram handle so guys let's continue this process this week actually took me like um two hours apart from the time when i had to stand up and do some other things you guys know i have some little kitties to attend to while i make my content here yeah? so two hours maximum but maybe one hour if you just sit down and just do it without any distraction from any quarter or any angle yes so it's a very easy week honestly so this is the easiest week i've made so far like so easy and straight to the points and everything so i'll just continue this process and i'll make sure that i show you all and take you all along as we go so i hope you're enjoying this ride already because me i'm feeling myself the result of this week is so 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 nice no don't skip no no don't go forward just be calm, be patient, exercise patient, and let's continue making this wig. So while crochet, you may just en uh, encounter what I'm just encountering here. Just don't worry, just pull it out and go back and crochet it in again. You guys know this is a synthetic hair, so sometimes it may tangle, but that's all right. That's one of the things you get to see when you're working with such a hair, but that's okay we are gonna work with it that way that's the beauty of this kinky hair so just go ahead and continue crocheting so sometimes you may just pass the needle to two two um, holes because you guys know there are many holes you can't just continue going through the same holes always no you can just like pick two to three but you don't want to overdo it if not you're going to make your wig cap small and it will not fit into your head if you have a big head or big skull like my uh, please i don't have a big head i just have a big skull so if you have a big skull like mine you want to be careful so you don't pass through a shortage of space or wig after you finish crocheting the hair so you just want to be patient just pick like two holes then you crochet don't just go ahead and pick three and four three to four holes no it's going to shorten your week so as i said i'll be giving you some tips and tricks as i move along so i've just given another one if you've noticed <laughs> so i'll continue the process i'll just go round 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 i'm making sure i get every side gets the same quantity no one i don't want anywhere to be bigger than the other part no i want to be careful so to the front part now because the pin I'm using is not small, I had little difficulty. So if you have the smaller crochet needle, it will be better off for this part. But if you have the same needle like I do have, you just have to be patient and you pull little strands of hair instead of the bigger strands we've been using previously. So just be patient, pull it out and it will go. Just You just have to use a smaller strand this time and not the big strand we've been using. So I'll do that for the front, so to give it a kind of natural look. you see what I'm talking about later on in this video. So just go ahead and um, pass it through the elastic, a little bit of it, not just to make sure that you just have this, you don't have the uh, elastic showing. So I'm just trying to cover it with those strands. So I did that for the front. So I didn't want to skip that part. I had to show you all what I meant. That was why I had to fix other parts. Now back to the center of the hair. 
I will continue until I make sure I cover every nook and cranny. Every hole must be covered. Yes, every space, every hole, everything must be covered. You don't want space because when you trim, you see why? Because when you're trimming your hair, this hair, and there's space, you wouldn't like it. So you want to make sure that you cover every coverable close every place crochet every space that needs crocheting yes you need to do that so there's another tip i will be giving right here towards the center i just did another different thing i got the strand of hair the normal one we've been using all through but i folded it into two again you see what i'm talking about you just get the strand of hair like so instead of putting it into two you fold it two into two again so you like you have a fuller strand this way it will be easier for you to close the center because when it is fuller it will be so easy to close it and it will give it a different look so what i'll do it again so that you see what i meant i know i'm speaking too much english but the video is so so self-explanatory even though i just felt there's a need for this voice over so continue the process and make sure that everywhere is stitched everywhere is crocheted everywhere is closed and fully packed we don't want any space we don't want anything to make it look um professional right <laughs> Yeah, the closing of this part actually took me some time because you know i made sure that there was no space so that was one of the reasons so you can do it faster and at the end of the day the results really paid off so i'll just continue this process and close all that needs to be closed like i said the center took me closing the center really took me some time but you know that's one of the things so just leave a comment in the comment section if you'll be trying this tutorial this hair tutorial that i just showed you people i want to see someone trying i usually like it when people learn from me <laughs> so this is the time for us to cut and trim this hair so i'll just section it like so and go in this direction and start trimming just notice the way i'm placing the scissors just notice it that's how i feel i should cut it i don't want to go into the other direction and cut it in a way that um, it will go so down and it won't give me what i want so as i'm cutting it i mean i'm trimming this hair i'll be turning the stool where I place the mannequin hair so that I'll make the shape of the human hair. So I'll be going around just like I did um crochet the hair that way also I was going around before so even the trimming process I also did the same thing. I was just going around and turning it and trimming in a systematic way. I didn't just go and start from the bottom, no. I was doing it in a systematic way because you know once you've trimmed it so much so you just have to go back in and uh, crochet again so we don't want to do that we want to be careful we want to be so meticulous that we'll get a good and finished result see the shape is coming together yeah if you can see it here it's coming together little by little so that way so in case you still see a space don't worry just go back in and crochet because when I was doing this I had some space after cutting and trimming it I had some holes that were visible so what I just did was I just went back and did crochet just like I'm showing you guys here so just go back crochet and then trim it again so guys giving it the finishing touch and here is how this crochet hair looks on the mannequin and and this is how it looks on my model see how natural this afro wig is god i'm feeling this wig right now so the back the front it's so full 
it doesn't even look like a wig honestly does it look like a wig <laughs> thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and like this video see you in my next one